Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I need that HBO special, which simply means help a brother out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click that like button. I appreciate you. We're about to rank my entire Tom Ford collection for the year of 2023. There is one bottle that is missing. That is Cafe Rosé. That is currently at my place of employment. <laughs> so um, that bottle is not here, but we're gonna substitute that for something else. All right. So number 17 for this year is Jasmine Rouge. Jasmine Rouge. I mean, like, I'm trying to get a clear shot of that. I mean, this one right here, I, what can I say? I really haven't worn it. It's not really my style per se, but you know, it is what it is. Let's see, I'm trying to get all this focused in. Bang. So then we have number 16. Number 16 for me is gonna be Oud Wood. I have not gotten a single, let me tell you something about Oud Wood. Oud Wood is either you, you love it or you don't. Everyone, I like it. Everyone around me hated it. So, it is what it is. Let's see right here. Then we have Boris Morikane. Morikane. This one right here. Um, it's, it just wasn't hidden for me this year. Then, in this slot, we would have had Cafe Rosé. That one is nice and everything. It's good for work, but it doesn't really you know, get as many compliments for me, per se. Then we're gonna go into Norla Portofino. You would think this would get a lot of compliments, and I didn't wear it that much in the summer, so I didn't really get the chance to fully see, but that's what that is. And then we're gonna take it to Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry. I have not worn this one a lot. You're gonna, you're gonna hear this a lot. But when I have worn it, it was kind of mid. It wasn't really giving me the results I was looking for. I'm like, how can I get that to focus? There we go. And then we're gonna hit it with, actually, ombre leather. Now, the reason why this moved up a lot for me from the summer is because I was able to use this finally. Like, I'm able to use it in my car because my car has leather seats. I'm able to use it for my couch because my couch is leather. So I was able to spray this and everyone loves it. Then we're gonna go into, ooh, fucking fabulous. See that, go ahead, get that. Ah, how do I? There we go. Fucking Fabulous is a, is a good scent. I mean, it smells all right. It gets a few compliments. It's not nothing too over the top. Um, no, it is what it is. Then we're gonna go into Mandarino Diamalfi. I absolutely love this scent. Like you can see the little dent in it and everything. But it got me like 50-50 on the, on the scents. We're gonna go to Tom Ford, Beauty Jerk. This is fresh out the barber shop, but I can only rock it when I have a fresh cut. So that's why it's like, you know, like every two weeks or so. But when I do rock this, everyone says it smells amazing. Woo wee! This Ebune Fume. Man, this Ebune Fume. This shit smells amazing. And it does get compliments. It's a little on the strong side, but. I like it for what it has done for me. And then in sixth place, we got Grey Vetiver. Ooh, this one smells like lemonade in a bottle. I mean, I was only able to wear it a few times, but the few times I wore it, it did knock it out of the park for me. So then we go into the top five. What is my top five Tom Ford fragrances that have given me a lot of compliments? Right here in fifth place, tobacco vanilla. This right here, oh man, this 
it's, it smells like a smoker's jacket. Like, if you can imagine what a smoker's jacket would smell like, this is this is what it would be like. And it smells amazing, and I get all I get is compliments. Then we have Soliniach. Soliniach, man, this one right here. It was, so when I first bought this, right, it was between this one and I guess like the the gold one. I forgot what the name of the gold one was. And when I smelled this, I was just like, it smells like baby powder. It smells so good. Got nothing but compliments. For third, my third place. This one was this one. This one was a blind buy because I didn't want to get um, rose prick because everyone has rose prick. So I said, let me see what else they have. I didn't know they had two other rose scents. So I just blindly bought this, and I'm glad I did. Rose the Amalfi, <laughs> man. This rose the Amalfi. It smells like heaven. It is 100% legit. I have gotten nothing but compliments. People love it. Like it smells like roses and marshmallows. Like no lie. Number two, white suede. Man, like this was like all right. So when I first smelled this, I was in Vegas, right? Went to the Tom Ford store. They was trying to sell me the bigger bottle, but I knew it came in the smaller one. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait to buy this. But I'm so glad I did buy it when I did. Like this right here, nothing but compliments. And my most number one Tom Ford fragrance that gave me the most compliments, the most anything. New York Extreme. Woo, man, let me tell you something about this one. All right. <laughs> Um, personal story. <laughs> so I was I was in Burlington, right? You no, know, I'm shopping around, all that stuff, nothing, nothing major. Um, so I have this one on. So I walk past this woman, and then she like she I guess she turned around to come find me to see if it was me who was smelling like that. Once she found out it was me, she was smelling like that. She said, "Oh my God, you smell so good. You're making me so wet right now." And I just started busting out laughing. And I was just like. What? That's like one of the most random things to say to a person, but all right. And then I have got nothing but compliments every time that I have wore this. I am so glad I got the big bottle. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the juice is like dented for real. Because this has been worn a lot. Like this is nothing but compliments. And this is my time for collection that I have ranked all 17 bottles. Oh man, like it's so much out of focus. I'm trying to figure out how does that... How, how I can get that to be better. But let me know if you have any of these bottles, which ones you like. Take care. I love you. Peace.